So today's video might not appeal to conventional viewers, but it will certainly appeal to people with conventional wisdom. Might sound a bit controversial, but the thing is that I had just recommended the Toyota Camry to a person over the Mercedes E-Class. So why did I do that? Keep watching because this is Car Masker, only truth, no trash. So to just give a basic background of the story, my friend had just completed his MBA from the prestigious Xavier School of Management two years ago. Now being the fourth ranker in his batch and completing a prestigious course from an equally prestigious college, after two years he had earned sufficient amount of money. And the thing is, he has an equally good family business running which supports his cause of buying a car that will certainly be his first for around 45 lakh rupees budget. Now he reached out to me, I asked him his preferences and he listed 6 preferences of his own. Now what were these preferences? It was petrol engine, good after sales, good reliability, rear seat comfort, soft ride quality and of course the interior should be premium and nicely built not something that will rattle after around 5 or 6 years of usage. Now whether the car is new or old, that wasn't his main concern. All he wanted was that the 6 preferences he had listed were to be covered up and he wanted the best car to complete all those 6 jobs perfectly. And it did not take us long enough to shortlist 2 cars and that was obviously the Camry, a new one or a used Mercedes E-Class. Now the budget was a substantial 45 lakh rupees which meant that he could either get around a 3 year old Mercedes E-Class or a new Toyota Camry. Now giving you a brief overview of the 3 year old E-Class, it came with a 2 litre turbo petrol engine making 184 horsepower and 300 newton meters of torque mated to a 9 speed automatic transmission. It got a command online infotainment system with a 12.3 inch display, 7 airbags and of course that much talked about 64 color ambient lighting which does give the interior a very tasteful appearance. Talking about the new Camry, it comes up as a hybrid, 2.5 liters naturally aspirated and the combined output of this hybrid system is rated at a healthy 218 horsepower. It gets an E CVT transmission, 8 inch touchscreen infotainment system, an excellent 9 speaker a JBL sound system and 9 airbags. So it kind of turns out to be a head versus heart battle, right? Someone who wants snob value will definitely go with the Mercedes-Benz E-Class. But then the person had done MBA, he knew how to manage things. And then someone who's more of a rational thinker will definitely go with the Camry. And that's what we did. That's what I recommended him to do. Now for starters, no one can argue about the reliability of the Toyota Camry. It's an immensely popular global product from Toyota that reeks of great reliability. The E-Class, well, it's German luxury car, period. The 2-litre turbo petrol engine of the E-Class will probably not last even half as long as the naturally aspirated unit of the Toyota Camry. And the 9-speed automatic gearbox of the E-Class also has its fair share of problems and is an extremely complex one to replace or repair. And being a German thing, chances are less that it will ever be repaired. And then the electronics and electricals of a German car are still very temperamental. It's kind of a legacy they've built, which is a big cause of worry in a car already stuffed up with computers. That said, I still rate the E-Class above the 5 Series and A6 in terms of reliability. But but anywhere near the Camry, absolutely no. Secondly, in any case, there is no doubt that a Camry will be far more cheaper to maintain than a Mercedes E-Class. A Toyota makes much more sense than a used German luxury car if you value reliability and maintenance costs. Thirdly, we'll come on to the features. Well, the Camry might not be as well equipped as an E-Class, that's for sure. But it has enough or I should say more than sufficient features to cater to everyone's needs. Talking of which, it has reclining rear seat, 18 inch multi-spoke alloy wheels which definitely look very good. LED DRLs, cool front seats, touch operated controls in the rear armrest which is not available in the E-Class, heads up display, cruise control, 3 zone climate control, tire pressure monitoring system, automatic LED headlamps, LED fog lamps, electric steering adjust, a sunroof, 10-way power adjustable front seats, wireless charging, hands-free park assist, 
Well, that sound more than enough, right? And what finally sealed the deal in favor of the Toyota was that the peace of mind associated with the Toyota brand is hard to ignore. The Camry is more reliable, far more cheaper to maintain. It will probably outlast another two generations of the Mercedes E-Class. It's supremely comfortable and very refined, has sufficient features, it's well built, and it is extremely efficient with that combined hybrid system, which is a must in these days of inform petrol prices regularly hitting centuries so i guess mba does help you open up your mind right and definitely makes you use your head more than your heart now what are your views about his choice whether he should have bought the uh, three-year-old e-class or he's absolutely right in buying the new camry do comment down below but first things first do not forget to like the video and subscribe to the channel because this is the only channel where you will get such videos which are definitely far away from conventional choices but this is the place where you will find a reliability and cheaper maintenance being valued more than anything else of course with a hint of uh, good driving pleasure in the mix so that's all for today see you again